What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. My name is Leandro Riva, and today we're gonna to be making a cable car. A cable car is a modern classic cocktail created by Tony Abu Ghanim, who was the beverage director at the Starlight Room in San Francisco, and this was the signature cocktail of that bar, and it is also what kind of put him on the map and made him a star in the bar world. Uh, if you don't know who Tony Abu Ghanim is, go to the link below and check out his book, The Modern Mixologist. Um, it is definitely worth a read. And actually, when I first started bartending, that was the very first bar book that I, that I read and um, to sort of explain things to me. So if you guys are embarking on home bartending or if you're embarking on your own bar career, you guys should be reading as many cocktail books as possible. And that one is highly recommended by me. Now, Tony Abu Ghanim was a bartender from Michigan who learned the bar business from his cousin Helen at her bar, The Brass Rail, and he was really steeped in the tradition of classic cocktails. He moved out to California to become an actor, landed in San Francisco, got this job at the Starlight Room, and the rest is history. So let's get into the drink. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna rim this cocktail with a little cinnamon sugar. And the way that we're gonna do that, we're just gonna take this uh, lemon peel and we're just gonna wipe it on the cocktail. I actually cut a little facet into it, see? And then I just put it on um, I like, I don't do this on the whole glass because some people that you're serving the cocktail to might not want the whole glass rim. So I usually do about half of it or a quarter of it. Um, so I got the lemon juice on there and then I'm just going to sort of, it's not a lot of sugar on here. So it's a little bit hard to rim. It's a lot easier when you have a whole bunch and I don't. So we are going to go like that. You want to kind of make it as even as possible if it's not even. I'm doing this with my finger, but when you're doing this in a bar, do it with a rag, all right? So I don't want to like incur the wrath of all of the germaphobes out there. But I am making this cocktail at home right now. So what I do is I just like take my finger and I'm just going to like wipe it along the side. If you do it at work, do it with a rag just to make sure that that is an even line. Okay, and honestly, this isn't killing me either. You really want to make sure you get an even coat, but I'm not going to break balls about that right now. So let's put this aside and let's get into making the drink. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do, all right, is one ounce of lemon juice. Then we're going to do half an ounce of simple syrup, three quarters of an ounce of curacao. Now, I've been saying this lately in a lot of episodes, and I'm going to say it again in this episode. A lot of people ask me, well, if I don't have access to Curacao, what do I um, sub it out for? So the general rule of thumb is this. Curacao and Grand Marnier are close together. So if you don't have Curacao, sub it out for Grand Marnier. Uh, you can also, there are some bars that make their own Curacao by taking Grand Marnier and adding, and, and adding simple syrup to it to make, kind of make their own. Curacao, um, and then, you know, Cointreau is drier, right? And then uh, that's going to be closer to triple sec, all right? So triple sec and Cointreau are, uh, you can approximate that, and then Grand Marnier and Curacao, you can approximate that. All right, so three quarters of an ounce, if I didn't, I think I did say it, but maybe I didn't. If not, it's three quarters of an ounce. And then we're just going to do an ounce and a half of spiced rum. Originally, he used uh, Captain Morgan, but I'm using Sailor Jerry because it's what I have on hand, and I really like Sailor Jerry, and it works very well in this drink. So just do an ounce and a half of that. And that is our cocktail, guys. And we're gonna take our ice. Oh, and by the way, you'll see my misshapen ice. So this is ice that is called like junk ice, and it's from uh, when I was cutting old fashioned blocks. Always save your ice junk because you can use it for shaking ice. It's not junk ice, it's shaking ice. So you just add that to a tin, add our cocktail to it and shake. We're gonna center our glass, unlock our tins, and double strain. It's nice, we got a nice wash line on that. Really like the way that turned out. And then we're just going to do an orange twist. I'll wipe it on the back side, on the stem a little. We're going to place that in there. Well, maybe we'll place it on top. And there you have it, my friends, the cable car. Let's take a sip. Now, I normally, I'm just spilling it everywhere. 
Normally you would sip it uh, from the sugar end, but I have a end screen to shoot, so I am just going to sip it from here. That is wonderful, very dry, not too sweet. That ounce of lemon makes it super tart. You can feel the rum in there, but you get the simple syrup and the curacao to really um, kind of balance it out, but it is gonna be very tart. So those, this drink is really for people who don't wanna have like a sweet drink. All right, my friends, I will see you on the next video. And just so you know, I want to tell you to please like and subscribe. Subscribing really helps us out. And uh, the more subscribers we have, the easier it is for us to bring you this wonderful content. So please like and subscribe. Thank you to our Patreon subscribers. Um, and check out our um, sponsor, uh, Barfly Mixology Gear, on their uh, Instagram. Just click follow. They have a pretty good Instagram account. I think you should check it out. All right, guys. Uh, links in the show notes. And I'll see you next time.